Welcome back, Ray Winters. Here with some more Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And there's something on the map here. This this letter T has said it was an associate activity. So I actually want to see what this is like on this episode. It said suggested level six. Well, we're level I believe four, three or four. So let, let's just see how we fare in this uh, this stage. We're level three right now. So let's just see what happens. I wonder if we'll get bonus EXP for coming into a stage under leveled. And I'm ready to climb again when I don't need to. I gotta remember that I have this now. So let's open up this chest. Get some moonies. Gotta remember I got the good stuff here, Ming. And it looks like I have to talk to this young man here. Hello? No, it wasn't me, not guilty. There you are. <laughs> you, you're the one. I assure you we've never met. Is this a prize fighting ring? You bet your eyes and ears it is, my lord. My lady. The name's Robert Toffey. Best bookie in all of London at your disposal. Well, second best, but my mum says Don was a bit of a nincompoop. Anyhow, I can show you a vast array of exciting things. From prize fights to carriage races. I think we can afford to spend a little time here. Alright, so what exactly does this guy have to offer us? The Fight Club suggested level 2, fight and win local prizes. Well, let's try a Fight Club out, man, and just see what happens. I mean, Jacob's the kind of guy that likes to brawl, right? Um, do I lose gambling in previous games? Oh. Uh, get grabbed by your ears, dude. Yeah, that, that ear grab is, is freaking OP, man. Well, what, what can you do about it? Oh. Oh! <laughs> that looked painful. Who's next? The Fight Club, bitches. So I just, uh, I guess you can actually... So if we keep fighting, the next fight prize is 150, but it looks like they're going to keep throwing more and more enemies at you at once. So you're going to have to get good with the circle button. Um, I, I guess let's just keep going until we lose. I mean, current winnings, we get 50. So if I was to lose my streak, do I still get the 50? Or let's, let's keep fighting, see what happens. I mean, yeah, there's definitely more. Grab this guy by the ears. It's all, all about the ears, baby. So it looks like I don't have to worry about countering anyone while I'm uh, actually doing an execution or something. It looks like it'll end on its own. Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh. This, the way you fight in this game, this is like the perfect place to be. Um, next fight, we triple. Oh, jeez, we triple the earnings between each fight. We might as well keep going. Let's just do this until we lose, you know? Um, they're going to send in some harder enemies. I, I can smell it. So look at that. Oh. Bastard. Ow. Fuck you, man. Let's finish this one. Oh, they sent in the big guy. Ugh. <laughs> we got a lot of health, though. We got a lot of health, though. Finish that one. In your ears. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Get your ears grabbed, son. This big guy. Bam! Oh, 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 give me that trophy! 
Yes, flawless fighter. You're right, I got my ass kicked. We could get 1,200 bucks. This is the way to go right here. So I wonder if there's going to be like a super round at the end. I'm glad I leveled up my health, man. This is helping out a bunch. Just gotta... Fuck you, big guy. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that one yet. Oh. What do you do? What do you do when you get your ears grabbed, though? Huh? What can you do when, the, when they grab your ears? Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Mm. Hold on, let me rub my eye real quick. Woo. This guy, oh man, those power punches, though. Oh, grab the ears. Neck throw, oh, yeah. Boom! <laughs> I can loot him. Oh, we won. Fourth round, personal best. So you get resources as well. I like this activity a lot. This is pretty cool. I'm, I may find myself doing this often when I'm not recording. Fight club, baby. That's right. Um, I don't know if I want to try the carriage race right now. But uh, income, I mean, that was pretty good. You got 300 EXP as well. Uh, what else is down here that we can do? So that's nice to know that we have that. Collectibles, the vault. Hmm, we may check that out next time. So what's up here? Another fight club? Is this a mystery? Murder, you say? Huh. Well, you know what, guys? Let's not do the story this episode. Let's do some... Let's do some... What was that? A race? That looks like a race. A lap race. Okay. And that's another race up there. Let's do a murder mystery. Let's Let's do this. Let's do our 10 hour fast travel. That's what this episode's gonna be all about is the side missions. I already like the brawling one. I just don't like being timed. I just wanna sit there, fight, and just beat up everybody, take my time. Have fun with it, you know? But uh, let's go solve a mystery. Hopefully we can solve it on the first time, uh, first try. I know in Assassin's Creed Unity, if you did it, you got a weapon. But if you did it correctly, like on the first try, I think you got a bonus of gold. I think they gave you a little bit more money for it. Which um, in this game seems to be something I really need. You definitely need money. And I'm glad um, we went to another loading screen. This is okay. Here we go. All right, right next to the murder mystery. This is perfect, man. All right, so... An ally. Is this really an ally? I don't know. Let's, let's, let's do this. So we could get a thousand bucks, a cape, okay, for the... For Eevee, and 800 EXP, which is going to get us another assassin point easily. Or I could go to the fight club, just stick in there, what, I think every three fights... Uh, about every three or so fights, I'll get a new level, a new assassin point. So, solve the seemingly simple mystery of a factory worker. Simple mystery, that's what they say, man. We have to pay attention to all the details. I liked the murder mystery thing on Assassin's Creed Unity, but after a while, I sort of got bored of it, so I want to see how they keep it fresh in this one. Badly, isn't it? It certainly doesn't have the makings of a ripping good novel. What happened here? Ah, charming and delightful Fry twins. Have we met? Mr. Raymond knows everyone. He knows everything about this city. He writes it all up in his books. I'm Henry Raymond, writer of third rate, lurid stories. Penny dreadfuls, if you will. And this is Little Artie. Mr. Raymond takes real murders and makes them so awfully exciting. The guilty always get caught. There's one unfolding just here. Perhaps one of you would like to try your hand in solving it. Alright. I'll give it a shot. Let's see. So, to find the murderer, use Eagle Vision to search the investigation zones for clues, interrogate every suspect. 
press options to enter the progression log and access your collected evidence. Accuse the guilty suspect to solve the case and collect your reward. Be careful though, as every false accusation will reduce your reward. Ooh, so our top reward is 800 EXP, so we could end up losing a lot of that. Now that I think about it, so we gotta be careful here. I want as much EXP as possible. On my way. So we are going to be finding clues around this area. There's one person to speak to. But there's also this purple zone. I see something yellow over here. There's the body. I guess this is the case itself. So let's talk to this guy. Interrogate. Interrogate suspect using to select a topic and X to end the interrogation. So we should ask about... Let's see. So there's only body and workers we could do. Let's ask him about his workers first. They're a rough bunch, but someone has to keep the kids in line. I just wish the grown-ups would quit fighting each other. Okay. Body. I arrived to find the foreman dead and the lad dueling with bloody hands. No one's been able to find the murder weapon and arrest the murderer. Could you sort it out quickly? It's holding up the work. Okay. Alrighty. So here is the... It's supposed to be a simple case. Here is the body. Is there anything else? Alright. Let's just check out this body. Inspect. So Warehouse Wilkins' body. A deep stab wound to the chest. A bandana obscures the victim's face. Interesting. So we've got a few people that are actually witnesses, I'm guessing. One, two. Um, well, there's... What is that yellow? I guess this note doesn't count for anything. Inspect. Oh, it does. Warehouse letter. It has come to our attention that one of your workmen, a certain Mr. Colton, has been beating the child laborers. Our society finds this to be a matter of concern, as do you. No doubt. Please take action to curtail the practice mr colton now is the person that's dead i don't think that's his name huh so eagle vision is the way to go let's look around still got two people here suspects met two more but there's one more clue to find here we go here's the murder weapon i'll so i'll uh, speak to the suspects in a second a knife, a small knife with the initial D, crudely scratched into the handle. I wonder if someone huh. Tell me more about this. All right. Let's speak to. They said Dooley's hands were bloody, so I want to say it's Dooley. But let's speak to uh, Dooley's brother, Buck. Hello, Buck. My name's Buck, and I don't give a fuck. All right. Uh, tell me about the body first. Don't arrest him. I was standing there, having to think, when a fella come at me and give me a thumping. Dooley tries to stop him and he thrashes Dooley. I run out to find help. That's Dooley's knife, all right. He never lent it to nobody. He never lent it to nobody. So right there, it just... I guess they're not kidding when they say it's an easy case. It's got to be Dooley. All right, Dooley boy. Tell me, let's hear your excuse. Tell me about the body. He knocks me to the ground and give me a kick. I find me work knife under me and grab it. I lift me hands to protect myself and he knocks me out with a punch. Later on I wakes up and the man's lying there, dead. Hmm. He's my brother. He don't like to work hard, so one of the workers give him a thrashing. I try to stop it and he stops saying fuck and starts hitting me. So, there's still a suspect we have not met yet. Actually, he was the third suspect. So now we get to make an accusation. I want to say it was Dooley. I mean, it's his knife, but his brother... This one is saying, hey, maybe his brother is like blackmailing him. Not blackmailing him, but framing him is what I mean. 
Maybe he just, you know, put his hands, you know, let's let's interrogate him again, okay? Let's talk about Buck. He don't like working hard. I tried to stop it. And he stops hitting Buck and starts hitting me. And about the body. He knocks me to the ground and give me a kick. I find me work knife under me and grab it. I lift me hands to protect myself. He knocked me out. He knocked me out. Later on I wake up. The land's lying there dead. He knocked me out in a punch. But then the brother, when you talk to the brother, he's like, my brother don't never separate with the knife. Like, how could the brother have stabbed him in his sleep? Now I feel like it's Buck. I think Buck is the one that just don't give a fuck out here. But we're going to check out the progress log. Uh, dreadful crime. So Wilkins' body, that's the guy. Okay, deep stab wound to the chest. A bandana obscures the victim's face. Who here wears a bandana? I haven't heard anyone talk about a bandana. As for the letter, it comes to our attention that one of your workmen's a certain has been beating the child laborers. Alright, I don't really think that's going to help me figure it out. But the knife, the D, just because it's a Dooley's knife doesn't mean he used it. I mean, that's the easiest way to frame somebody, right? So what else do we have here? Is that the only information we have? That seems to be the case. Let's talk to this guy again over here. I think this is the dude the, that initially gave me the case. So let's talk to him about the body. Dooley with bloody hands. No one's been able to find the murder weapon. The murder weapon's on the ground, so you're not doing a good job. You know, here's this is the thing. In Unity, I used to really overthink it. I used to be like, it's him. He's framing this person. And then it would be the most obvious choice. Like, the obvious choice right now would be to pick Dooley. But I'm overthinking myself and I want to pick Buck. And I think I'm going to pick Buck. They're a rough bunch. But someone has to keep the kids in line. I just wish the grown-ups would quit fighting each other. So, Mr. Freems, there is no reason for me to believe it was him. There's really no reason for me to believe it was him. Let me hear his story. Someone has to keep the kids in line. The grown-ups will keep fighting each other. I mean, this is a grown-up that died. Did you see a, did you see an uh, option to kill this guy? And you were like, oh, look, he's fighting this child. Maybe now's the time to kill him. Ah, <sighs> Man, I, I, don't, I really don't know who to pick right now. Like, I want to say it's a dually. He's the obvious choice. But then I want to say it's Buck because the guy attacked him initially and maybe when Dooley got knocked out he took the knife, killed this dude, Mr. Wilkins, then bloodied up his brother's hands and put the knife back on him, you know? Or just tossed the knife over there and now he's giving me a bullcrap story. Oh, he never separates from the knife. And then you got the, the paper on the wall that's talking about adults um, abusing the children and such. So dreadful crimes, you know, it's it's all here. Uh, here's Buck. He claims he returned to find a man dead and Dooley holding a knife. Um, Dooley claims he suddenly accosted and beaten his brother. Dooley tried to stop the beating, was beaten in return. Buck ran to find help. Knife confirms that it's Dooley's knife, states that Dooley wouldn't lend it to anyone. If Dooley's knocked out, how is he going to lend it to anyone? So here's Dooley. Um, claims he was knocked to the ground. He found his knife and lifted it up, then was knocked out by a punch from the victim, awakened to find the man dead. Buck identifies uh, Buck as his brother. Dooley tried to stop worker who was giving Buck a beating. The worker turned on Dooley. Mr. Freems, owner of the factory, claims he arrived to find Wilkins already dead and the boy um, Dooley with his bloody hands. Mentions that the workers are rough and often fight with one another. So, we're going to take a shot in the dark. I'm going to go with Buck on this one. I, chances are I'm wrong. I'm going to go with Buck. Uh, you guys can curse at me in the comments section. And you, I'm accusing you. I was too scared to do anything. So it was definitely not him. It, was it really the... I guess it was the obvious choice. Some bitch. It's the obvious choice. I can't believe it. I, I If it's the obvious... If it's not him and it's the old man, I'm going to be angry. Me? No, it was the old man! Holy crap, I'd have never figured that out. You have indeed solved this murder, according to the facts at hand. However, Artie, what advice would you give? What advice would I give? I would 
encourage you to look beyond the obvious, beyond surface appearances. Try again. Use your powers to peer more deeply and see what you can discover. To see what I can discover. I mean, I have discovered everything, but now they want me to speak to this guy again. Now there's more clues. I guess once you accuse that one kid, there's more stuff. Okay, so I've already destroyed my what I'm going to get. A warehouse medium footprint. The imprint of the medium-sized... Worker's boot. The imprint is marked by pebbles of coal, and coal dust makes it possible to follow the tracks. And there are the tracks over there, but there's also this over here as well. Of a large worker's boot. So let's follow these coal tracks here. Actually, before we completely follow these tracks, because that looks like it's going to lead us where we need to go, let's interrogate this guy one more time. Now there's a bandana option which wasn't there before until I failed the uh, the whole thing overall. So The fumes can be a bit, much, can be in a bit much in the brewery. The there, they, wear bandanas. they wear bandanas. Okay. Alrighty, so they wear bandanas. You're still- do you have another thing that you could tell me? Oh, not body, it's Wilkins now. Wilkins wasn't the type to beat the children. On the contrary, he was forever getting in fights trying to stop that sort of thing. So clearly he pissed off someone trying to defend the cho uh, children. So it's definitely not one of the kids. They're a rough bunch. Always fighting each other. So now it makes me think it's an adult. I'd have picked him, honestly. But now that I see that there's more stuff here, I already lost some of my reward, though. More coal. Turns this way. And it looks like you may be the winner, my friend. <laughs> me and Wilkins was working out here. We heard screaming. Wilkins went to see what it was about and never come back. I went to see for myself and there he was, dead. I didn't stick around. Somebody might think I've done it. The strange thing is, Wilkins weren't wearing no bandana when I was talking to him. Only the workmen in the brewery wear bandanas. You should talk to Morris there. Okay. So now I should go speak to Morris. So now it makes me feel like he's not the bad guy, but let's just see what happens, right? Get item. Hey, what you got? You might want this. 30. Damn it, I love with you little assholes up so you can give me more stuff. Right. Well, I was inside the brewery all day. I wear me bandana in there. Man has to, what with all the smells and fumes. Is that it? Well, I was inside the brewery all day. Clues found. Here we go, we got a little something here. The imprint of a large worker's boot. And there's actually something gold over here. It looks like a chest. One of those um, lockpick chests. So it just says large footprint. There's got to be something else around here. Which suspect has the opportunity to kill him? Actually, it's in his area. It has there's has to be something in his area. Can I go into your shop at all? You can always check your case file to refresh your memory. This entire area is under investigation, so. Oh, I wonder where the other clue is. Inspect, really? 
That? I didn't even notice that. Holy crap. Uh, cigarettes. Stubbed out cigarette butts. I should go back and ask about Clues this. added. Oh, he's got more to say. I don't much know who smokes here. Maybe Taylor. Cigarette might be his. Hmm. The guy playing good guy over here might be it. Might be it, huh? Let me accuse this guy. He was acting a little too damn friendly. I quit smoking months ago. You know, I saw somebody from the brewery having a smoke this morning. Didn't see who it was, so. Now there's... <laughs> We're just going back and forth. Jeez. So now he's got something new to say. Well, like I said, I was inside. Didn't get a chance to come out and smoke. Colton left, though. You could talk Colton, to him. Colton, oh. Loading area just now. Alrighty, Colton. I remember the, the sign talking about Colton before. Man. I'm over here like, yeah, this is going to be a, a short episode, man, but... These damn things, they drag it on. Some more stuff to do. I was having a chat with one of the others when I heard a commotion and ran in there to find Wilkins dead. Poor bloke. Killed by that filthy little bastard that we feed and pay. I don't smoke. Never did. Okay. Never did, but where is your, uh... Stubbed out cigarette butts. You don't smoke, but your area seems to be kind of smoky there, buddy. Oh, very well. So I do smoke now and then. What's the matter? You know the fact that you lied to me? The fact that you lied to me right then and there? Says a lot, man. You, you lied to me right there. And you know what? On the sign, it said that you were an abuser. Let's go make sure that's uh, that's what the sign had said. Uh, the letter, Mr. Colton had been beating the child laborers, and Mr. Wilkins would fight people to stop the kids from being abused. So this would make perfect sense. And the fact that you lied about smoking cigarettes, and then as soon as I found the butts, you admitted to it. Now I think you are 100%, without a doubt, the guy to accuse. I should be foreman here. Wilkins caught the boys like a mother hen. He come along and stops me giving the boys a beating. And we got it. Um, I didn't have all this information before, but you know we did all right. The thing is, I I thought too hard about it before, and that's why I accused the boy. And I didn't think that this was gonna continue on going. Um, I'm not going to read this, but I will leave it there for a second so you guys can pause if you'd like to see it. Um, let's see. And down here is the rest. So yeah, do your do your pause magic. There you go. So guys, we have solved our first mystery. We lost reward because, yeah. Um... The mystery, it was cool. I, I need to be more patient and figure out other things. I don't mind doing these things. Still have killed the messenger. Alright. Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, get destroyed, man. Alright. So guys, that's going to be it for this episode. We got our first mystery down. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you guys next time when we try out other activities. So till then, see ya.